What's up everyone, Kevin Oak here. It's getting into squats this week. Um, this is my first session coming back from the Arnold Classic, which I did have a great time at out there in Columbus, Ohio. I wasn't competing myself, but I was helping my friend Jeff competing strongman, as well as just enjoying all the events going on. But um, this was the first session back. These are SSB front squats. Um, a lot of people ask me why I do these. The reason I do these is because they actually mimic a low bar squat very well. However, when I do low bar squats, I tend to get a lot of tendonitis in my elbows as well as my biceps, my shoulders, etc. So, I'm able to kind of supplement and do these a lot of times so that I don't have to low bar squat quite as often. So, start the week off with these. Um, felt good. Lower body felt good. Shoulders felt kind of tight. My shoulders have just been really fucking tight lately. It's quite irritating. But, um, yeah, they felt good. Um, I decided to wear knee wraps because I am inside of, inside of the last five, six weeks going into the competition, the U.S. Open. So, um, I'm going to wear knee wraps every single squat session I do. Whether it's front squats, low bar squats, double low bar squats, whatever. In my heavier sets, I'm just going knee wraps so I'm used to it. Um, on this session, I decided to work up to 700, as you guys will see later on, 700 for max reps. Um, biggest issue I was having, because my shoulders were tight, is keeping the bar from falling, which obviously is, you know, the majority of the time the hardest thing to do on a front squat, so obviously that's kind of, you know, comes with the territory. But, um, yeah, it kind of killed my death, because what would happen is I would go down, as deep as I could without losing a bar, but I'd get to a certain point where I couldn't really bend at the hips more, and I would have to lean forward if I wanted to get deeper, in which case, obviously, I would lose the bar. So it was kind of frustrating, because the weight felt easy, um, as you'll see on this. This was 700 for max reps, in knee reps, and it's like I wanted to get deeper on them, but if I wanted to get deeper, I would have had to lean more, and I would have just lost the bar, so. It is what it is. Still got the training stimulus necessary. Um, the third rep I was probably to depth. The other two were probably about parallel. But, um, I felt like I could have done more reps, but I would have lost the bar. So I decided to go up and wait just to keep moving. So that, set, that set felt pretty easy. So went for 753. Um, that walkout was fucking hard. <laughs> I almost lost balance going backwards. But, um, just went for a single here. Probably about parallel. Maybe it's to depth, I don't know. Right in that area. Felt easy. Had good speed on it. But um here's my second squat session of the week. These are low bar squats. Now recently you guys have seen I've been doing duffalo bar. So I had to come back to the straight squat bar, the Texas squat bar, because I'm only gonna have about four squat sessions left, so obviously I need to be using the exact equipment we'll be using the day of competition. Um, it was great using a duffel bar for about a month because it allowed me pretty much to not get the tendonitis issues and to bench pain free. So as you've seen, I've been hitting a ton of bench press PRs or at least equal my PRs, which is great. Um, bench is looking on point. Technique hasn't been great. I, def I definitely have to sharpen it up. But um, yeah, it was good training with the duffel bar. But going back to the regular bar, um, there was definitely some issues. The shoulders, as I said, were really tight. Also, the day before, I was with my PT, who um, we were doing a lot of sub scap stuff and working on my shoulders, working on external rotations. So when I was trying to get a good rack position on this bar today, it just wasn't going well at all. My shoulders felt dead. They were still sore from all the work he did the day before, as well as bench pressing two days earlier. Um, I hit a PR like 463 for four. So um. It was like my lower body felt great, it was ready to go, but my shoulder rack position sucked and it was causing me to kind of lean too forward. So as I was trying to go deep on the heavier sets, what happened is I would kind of have to stop or else I would have I would have fallen forward basically. So these are like those little variables that happen when you're in training and you're training often. It's kind of hard to come into training sessions 100 percent with perfect competition standard. This is just how it goes, so. This happens a lot on squats, especially with like mobility issues and stuff. When you try to squat heavy, it just gets hard to hit depth. But usually for me, 
once I do like my 10 day deload going into competition and um, it's like I'm nice and refreshed, I'm loose after I see my PT a couple times and usually I can hit depth, it's not an issue. But um, yeah, as you can see there, it was the bars kind of rolling on me and I was about to pitch forward. So yeah, as you see, like leg wise, the squats felt great. It was just my shoulders felt so shitty. It was terrible to get a rack. Walking out just felt like crap. It's just one of those days. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, just check it out. Um, I was still walking out up to this set. And, um, as you can see, I'm just bent over so much. It's like the bar was rolling up my neck to the point that I felt like high bar. My shoulders weren't staying tight enough because they're sore, like I was saying. So as you can see, I'm leaning too far forward, which alone will just screw up your depth to begin with. Um, because if I was a little more upright and a little tighter in my shoulders, I could sit back easier. And bam, that small difference allows you to get to depth. So after that, so I stopped walking out because it just felt terrible, especially with the rack position. It felt like I was just going to lose the bar. Um, I messed up on this set, unfortunately, because, you know, you see, I was really tight. Um, basically, what happened was, when I unrack, if I'm walking out, I unrack with a close stance. I walk back and widen my stance. If I'm unracking in mono, I just unrack with my normal stance. So, um, I unrack with a narrow stance, but I need it to be wider, so I basically was just too tight going down. I can't open my hips. So, on this set, I actually fucked up. I was supposed to hit 870. I put the wrong weight on. In my head, I was thinking put 12 and a half more pounds on each side. Accidentally, I put 12 and a half more kilos on each side. So it was supposed to be 870. I ended up hitting 892. Um, felt heavy as fuck. <laughs> Going down, I was like, shit, this is heavy. But tried to hit it. Um, as you can see, it's rolled up my neck again, and I was going to lean too far forward. I think if I was my normal looseness, I might have been able to have it, but that's how it goes.